Chiefs Kingdom, we have some breaking news to come to here as uh, got to do it at the at home studio, but Isaiah Pacheco has actually been ruled out for this Sunday's game versus the Buffalo Bills. Uh, he had been missing practice the past couple days, missed practice again today with a shoulder contusion, uh, but today he was ruled out as official that he's not going to play. And it's kind of surprising because he really wasn't injured in the Packers game this past Sunday, or at least nobody thought he was, but now he is out of the game. And for now, you have to look at the other options behind him. So as of now, it seems like Jarek McKinnon is on track to play. He's been a limited participant on Tuesday, or rather Wednesday. Yesterday was a full participant at practice. And then today, it looks like he'll be a full participant as well. So he'll be in line to play as well. But the interesting thing here, Andy Reid spoke and said that Clyde edwards Elaire will be the starting running back and that Jarek McKinnon will be the third down back. So when we look at CEH and kind of what he's done over his past couple seasons here with Kansas City, it's kind of been, I'm not going to call it a bust type thing, but it hasn't exactly been what the Chiefs expected getting him as a first round running back out of LSU. This year, he has 40 carries for 140 yards with one touchdown, but overall, he hasn't really been that guy on the field that you can trust just yet. In fact, I don't know if he's been that for almost a year now. Now, His receiving ability is something that was really liked by Andy Reid and something that they used a lot last year. Haven't seen it much this year because Jarek McKinnon has kind of taken over that role, but now it seems as though McKinnon will be the third down back, and you're having to kind of manage this running back room with a lot of other people in there. Now, if you watch yesterday's video, we talked about the other options here at running back, who could be pulled up from the practice squad, and kind of everything going there. So you have three options in the practice squad that I would assume one of them will be pulled up this upcoming Sunday against the Bills. We don't know exactly who it is just yet, but you have Daneric Prince, LaMichael P. Ryan, and Keontae Ingram. Now, Keontae was signed very recently. He formerly played at Arizona, uh, had two seasons there, didn't really do too much, was behind James Conner. Obviously, you have Kyler Murray, the running quarterback there. A lot of things to motion with there, but now you have Isaiah Pacheco out. Do you bring up Keontae, given you just signed him? Or Daneric Prince, along with you have LaMichael P. Ryan. Both of them played in the preseason this past a uh, couple, couple months ago, and now you have to look at and see whether or not they will actually go or if it's going to be Clyde edwards alaire and Jarek McKinnon. If you look at Jarek, hadn't played the past two weeks. He has been injured with a groin injury, but his stats are, I'm going to say, a little better in terms of overall confidence. Now, again, he hasn't rushed months. He rushed much. He only has 13 carries for 30 yards. But if you look at his receiving totals, that's where the thing kind of pops off the boards. He's had 19 receptions on 26 targets and 155 yards and three touchdowns. But that's exactly why it seems as though he will be used as the third down back. It's not going to be a situation where you're going to have McKinnon and CEH split. It seems like it's going to be CEH in that kind of bell cow back system. Um, I don't know how I feel about that because... Although CEH has shown prowess when he is the number one starter, I don't want to see that for the first time this season against the Buffalo Bills defense that is still pretty good. I mean, I know they've lost some guys like Matt Milano. There's a couple, you know, Von Miller and everything he's kind of dealing with. He's still playing there. I, there's a lot of things that can kind of go into this decision, but I'm interested to see how Andy Reid works this out and honestly just overall manages this situation because there's a lot of things that can go into it. Now, before we move into further evaluation, kind of talking about what I see in Prince, what I see in Piran, if they can potentially come up and if they will get some reps at all, I'm going to tell you about our sponsor, Prize Picks. So, Prize Picks is the largest daily fantasy sports platform in North America, and they are the easiest and most exciting way to play DFS. If you have a couple bucks. I'm telling you to go spend it on prize picks. You can turn $10 into $250 with just a few taps. And you don't have to battle thousands of other players, including pros or sharks. All you do, you pick more than or less than on two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in. Now, if you go check it out at prizepicks.com slash CLNS and then use code CLNS, you're going to get a first deposit match of up to $100. 
telling you guys it's free money, testing my skills on prize picks. It's been super, super fun. It adds a lot of excitement to the sports viewing experience. I've got some prize picks going up against this Sunday, but I actually had some last night that hit. I had more than on passing yards for Bailey Zappi. Yeah, what a surprise. More than on the rushing attempts for Mr. Ezekiel Elliott. It was 16 and a half. He ended up with above that. And then more on rushing attempts for Najee Harris. His was 12 and a half. He got more than that. And guess what? I got 20 bucks because I put 10 down on that. So pretty good there. And honestly, it's super fun to play. So make sure you go check it out again, prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match of up to $100. Prize picks, it's daily fantasy sports made easy. Okay, so let's kind of look at Daneric Prince and LaMichael P. Ryan. Now their preseason stats are similar and different in a lot of ways. So Prince had more carries at 22 with LaMichael only at 16 carries. The yardage though was favoring P. Ryan. He had 97 yards compared to Prince's 77. Touchdown for Prince, no touchdown for P. Ryan. The average, this is where I think P. Ryan gets the bump over Prince, along with Daneric being a UDFA. Now, the Michaels had some experience, not as much as, you know, a couple of other guys you could look at, and honestly, one you're not going to look at to put against the Bills, but still having his presence on the sideline could be well. He has a 6.1 average per rush. Meanwhile, Daneric Prince, 3.6. Now, this does help because the long for Mr. P. Ryan was a 30-yard run, whereas Daneric Prince has only had a 15-yard run. I don't know exactly if they will pull either of these guys up just yet. We don't know if there's been an official ruling on them. But as we know right now, I would have to assume, given you're ruling out a running back, it's going to be a situation where you bring up a running back. Now, here's the thing that I think I want to go back to. Brian Cook and Isaiah Pacheco were different types of injuries. Brian Cook was obviously a situation where you see him getting hurt and you're thinking, oh gosh, season ending. Whereas Isaiah Pacheco, we, Isaiah Pacheco, we didn't see him get injured. But the problem that I don't like, Andy Reid was asked about Brian Cook and Isaiah Pacheco and potential injury reserve stints. And he said, quote unquote, we'll see. So I don't like that he wasn't exactly saying, no, Isaiah Pacheco will not be on injured reserve. This guy wasn't injured four days ago. No one knew. And now all of a sudden he could be on injured reserve. I, that doesn't sound good. But for right now, we have to look at the future of this weekend, this Sunday, and he will be out versus the Bills. Brian Cook has not been ruled out yet, but it seems as though he will also not play. But Andy Reid did confirm Clyde Edwards-Hilaire is the number one back. Now, the three other guys that were ruled out, I just mentioned him, but Brian Cook, he has been officially ruled out as of right now, actually. Donovan Smith also just got ruled out. Andrew Tranquil. So there's four guys, all missed practice pretty much every day this week. Tranquil was at practice today, but was seen without a helmet. Those are all four going to be out. You're losing a safety, your starting safety. You're losing a linebacker who's been your starting linebacker for the past four days. Hopefully, you can see Nick Bolton come back this week, but we don't know exactly. And then Donovan Smith, the left tackle, he'll be out. We'll see Wanya Morris in his position as the starting role at left tackle. But a lot of injuries going around this Chiefs squad, and I don't really exactly like to see this. I mean, the past two weeks, if you've been watching here on the Chiefs report, you know that injuries has been the number one thing we've been talking about. And I'm tired of it. I don't really want to talk about injuries anymore because it's scary getting down late in the season with an 8-4 record. Well, that's a bad thing, but you really don't want to, you can't afford injuries. You want to try and get that number one spot in the AFC. And now you just lost four guys for one of your biggest games in the regular season in a very, very long time. But that's what we got for you. We're going to have a preview coming out later today. So kind of look at this matchup. Unfortunately, that was filmed earlier in the week. So it'll have a little bit of a, I don't think we mentioned Isaiah Pacheco too much in there, but uh, kind of a new ad addition to this now game on Sunday. We'll have that coming out later, but just wanted to get this to you quick that Isaiah Pacheco has been ruled out, will not play this upcoming game versus the Bills and really what the options look like for the Kansas City Chiefs. But that's all I got for you, Chiefs Kingdom. Uh, man, prayers up for Pacheco. Hopefully we have him back next week. And well, Brian Cook, Donovan Smith, Drew Trink will all ruled out as well. Nick Bolton, Jared Kinnon, please come back. Please come back. See you later, Chiefs Kingdom. Peace out.